Hi guys, uh, welcome to this video on, and this is a small video I've made on how to start your career in cloud security. I mean, this is for people who are like real beginners and they don't know much about the cloud and they want to start a career in cloud security. And like, I've been asked this question a lot of times, which is why I've made this video. And this is part of a longer series on uh, building your career in cloud security, which I'm going to be making. So do stay subscribed to this channel. Now, quick note about me. I've been in the cyber security field for around like 20 years or so. And last couple of years have, has been dedicated with cloud security. And one thing which I've noted is that, that the hardest thing is to get your foot in the door. I mean, once you're inside a particular field and not just cloud security, any, any field, the hardest part is getting your foot in the door. Once you're inside it, then it's really up to you and your hard work, your innovation, your ingenuity, and that will take you as far as you want to go. But the, this, is, this video is just to help you get inside the door, how to start, if you don't know where to start and you're looking for some guidance in that. So that's what this video is about. So let's move forward, guys. These are like uh, a few tips which I've compiled, the top three tips, which can help you out. So tip one, guys. So first tip for people who want to start the career in cloud security, it's a very basic one, choose a cloud provider. And you won't believe, sometimes people get confused about this and they start with like a certification first, or they just randomly choose a cloud provider. No, make a conscious decision on which cloud provider you want to go with. So let's assume, your, you want to start your career in cloud security and you don't have any experience. Well, first step is choose which of the big names you want to go with. And this is very important. Why? Because cloud is a hands-on field. You need to have technical knowledge. If you're just, you're not going to go by just by theoretical knowledge, guys. And uh, this is uh, really you want to focus on and make a conscious decision. So from the major ones, what do we have? We have AWS, uh, we have Azure, and we have the Google Cloud Platform. Now, let's start at the top, Azure. Uh, sorry, AWS. Now, AWS is pretty much a market in the field and the job market is huge for AWS professionals, right? Uh, you really cannot go wrong if you decide to go with AWS and you decide to focus there. There will always be jobs for AWS professionals. I mean, simply put, the market is too big for them to fail. So if you want to go with AWS, that's a very good and a very stable choice, okay? Next up is Microsoft Azure. They are number two, and but they're very, very quickly getting ground. And Microsoft, the big advantage they have is uh, Microsoft, everybody uses Microsoft products, right? And that is the thing they want, they usually focus on that the Azure cloud platform is integrated with a lot of their already uh, products, which my, most customers will be using on premises. So the learning curve is a bit smaller compared to say AWS and Microsoft tends to really focus on that. So Azure is also a very good choice and you can choose that also. Now the last one is Google cloud platform. Now, Google Cloud Platform is, this is quite an interesting animal, I, I would say. The Google Cloud is not as popular as, say, AWS and Azure. But if you look at the salaries which Google Cloud people are getting, uh, they're considerably higher than AWS and Azure. Why is that? Because it's a niche, right? And it's you, you for doing becoming a Google Cloud Platform security specialist, you really stand out. And it's like a niche. Uh, because simply put, because Google platform people are actually not as many as AWS and Azure. So if you want to be really specialized and you want to focus on a particular thing, so Google Cloud Platform is also good to go. So once you have made the decision, what's the good news? Good news is all of them provide you free tier accounts, which you can make and play around with. You just need an email address and up to specified limits and up to specified services you can play around with. I mean, you won't be able to create a big like production application, of course, but it's usually a good enough idea to get an idea of their services. I'm going to make a detailed video comparing all the free tiers and what you can get. But this is usually enough to get you up and running on the cloud. So how have you go understood why you need to make a formal decision on that, a conscious decision? So let's move on to the next step. Okay, tip number two, you've chosen a cloud provider. What else now? Now, this is quite simple. Get certified. Now, usually what happens is people jump ahead to the certification phase without actually choosing what provider they want to get, what are the pros and cons of each provider. Or they get certified in all of them, which is also, I mean, I wouldn't, I, I'm not going to say that's a bad idea, but really focus, guys, on one particular platform so you can optimize yourself. Now that you have a FIAT account, so the next step, like I said, is to get certified. Now, all of them have certification paths you can go on. All of them have that. No, but very important tip, guys, and sometimes people, like security professionals, they forget this, which is, like, what is it? Don't start with a security cert, guys, please. I mean, especially if you don't have knowledge of the cloud, do not jump ahead to the security certification. Why? Because those certifications, usually they want some sort of a foundation knowledge. You can't secure something without knowing how it's working first, right? So a lot of people, unfortunately, jump ahead. I'm not saying you might you might not pass the certification. I mean, if you are a bright guy, an experienced person, you probably will pass. But 
you still won't have that good knowledge which is there and that's going to cause you problems later on so so my recommendation is for each provider i'm just going to recommend of course this is not like binding this is not formal but i would recommend if you're thinking about aws so definitely go with the aws certified solutions architect associate it's a very very popular it's a very well respected certification and it gives you a very good understanding of how aws works its services it also covers security from a very high level so you really cannot go wrong if you decide to go with this certification and if you plan to start your career in aws so start with this certification first okay if you want to go with azure then azure i would recommend the az900 the fundamentals one so it gives you a complete overview of the foundation services and a little bit about security and you will definitely get a good idea of how azure works and what's how it's different from on prem uh, so it's a very good entry into the azure world also last one associate cloud engineer for google now google usually says that you need to have 6 months of uh, like as a google cloud experience before you can do this which i don't particularly agree with I'll be honest with you. I mean, you can. I mean, uh, if you have a basic knowledge of computers and IT and all that, you can go ahead and start working with this. And it's not an entry barrier, and it's a guess. This is a great way to start building and understanding how the Google Console works. So these are the few certs I would definitely recommend for you, depending on which cloud provider you're going with. And so go ahead, start certifying. I'm going to put more videos on this: how to get certified, what what helps, what are the resources, and everything. And uh, if you do pass, do let me know. i would be very happy like oh, which of you guys are passing and like if i helped in any way and on, on that and do publish it on my linkedin profile i don't think i need you to tell uh, i need to tell you that but still okay the last two guys okay tip number 3 now you have access to the free tier you have a and you have a cloud sandbox to play around with and you're working on your certification now the next step is guys build something please build something on the cloud do not just think about securing something uh, theoretical knowledge will only take you so far and securing stuff will only go so go you so far you need to roll up your sleeves and think about building something now i'm not asking you to build like some massive uh, amazon based store in the cloud no so just the simple stuff like just simple ideas to get you going what, what what can you do okay just create a simple static website using amazon s3 it's very very easy to do but in the configuring and all that you will understand how the services are working or regardless of what provider you're going with uh, spin up a windows machine Uh, spin up a linux machine and try to connect to it over the internet you see how to download those private public keys how to go about it it will teach you a lot okay if you want to feel like if you're feeling really adventurous build a chatbot that responds for taking orders from customers you know make make like a test chatbot which will you you'll say i want this i want that and it will respond to you it's very easy to build on the cloud i'm going to make videos on that also and lastly if you really want to go all out build a speech or image recognition service all of these are pre built on the cloud by the way it's not you have to do programming from the ground up you have to set the basic level stuff and configure these services but i really want you to go and like play around with the cloud try to make this stuff and let me know what uh, like what you are able to accomplish on the cloud so i hope you understood guys if you want to start your cloud security career start like this build a good solid foundation and then you can build on top of that if you jump ahead and you start like doing hardcore security certification without even knowing how the cloud is working you will have problems face uh, later on so i hope this helps you out guys let me know if you have any issues with this and uh, please uh, do subscribe to this channel as i'm going to be uploading more videos on this thank you